Hey everyone, Zenplot Gaming here. Just want to show you a couple PS2 games I picked up today at the uh, Half Price Books. I got all those retro games at last week. Uh, they're nothing too, nothing too special, but they're cheap enough, and I I snagged them. So the first one here is a uh, SRS, stands for Straight Racing Syndicate. Uh, this was a direct competitor for Need for Speed Underground 2 when it came out, and um, from what people have said. This pretty much uh, dominates the Need for Speed Underground 2. And um, so I'm going to have to see if this is true or not because I've always been an Underground fan. But uh, this game promises more cars, more customization, free roam, police chases. You know, the typical street racing games. Um, I do believe it said you can race day and night. As you can see right there, it's day. Uh, so I'm going to have to give this a try. Case is a little bit busted up. But it is complete with the manual. I think this was 10 bucks. It's getting harder to find. Um, because it's basically a launch title. With the PS2. That's that. The disc is in good shape as well. Alright, so the next one here. I was actually pretty amazed to find. Um... Jaws Unleashed. I never knew. I mean, I, I knew that they made a Jaws game, but uh, I was never able to, able to play it, let alone find it in thrift stores and, you know, half price books and stuff. So that was pretty cool to find. I think this was six bucks. Um, you're, you're basically, you basically play as Jaws. It's an open sea and all that stuff you can explore and eat people eat other animals it's kind, of, it's kind of gruesome from what i heard but that was pretty cool to pick up it's kind of like uh so there's a game that came out a couple of years ago um called man eater and that was it tried to copy what uh jaws unleashed could do you know the open world shark um so i have a fun play Fun time playing that because I love the uh, movie series for Jaws. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, this looks pretty fun. Now, unfortunately, um, the case actually looks like it's been in uh, Jaws' mouth here. It's uh, pretty battered. And uh, let's see. Case is cracked pretty much all the way through. Game's good, though. It's in good condition with like minimal scratches. Um, so and also the artwork is uh, you know crumbled and water damage I think. So I'll probably have to get just a case, just a you know plain case off of eBay or something for a few bucks and make it look brand new. Uh, that Game Boy was still there, Game Boy Advance SP and Cobot Blue. Um, I may pick it up next time I swing by there, but, uh, it's just the price is getting me, you know, it's scaring me away. They want 75 bucks for it. And, uh, I think that's a little bit high for a Cobalt SP. I checked eBay and they sell between like 60 to 80, um, 80 on like a really good day. So, I don't know. Let, let me know um, in the comments below if you think I should pick up that Game Boy SP um, for 75 bucks. Alright, uh, well, have, hope everyone's having a good day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.